diary. All I can say is work. So much work. Readings, notes, essays, lesson plans. Well, I'm learning all about lesson plans. And I've got to say, I have a newfound respect for all the teachers I had growing up. Seriously, though, if you thought teachers had it easy, then you are so off base. Strange thing is, I'm enjoying it. Time is more constricting and less free, forcing me to be aware of how I'm spending my time. Not to worry, YouTube is still high on my priority list. Still, this means I'm spending a lot of nights staying up till 1am, which is not normal. Well, well, it is for a lot of other 20-somethings, but not me. I really love sleep. It has to be one of my top 10 favourite things. Maybe I'll share those with the world one day. While I've never been much of a morning person, my night owl state has its limits. There are only so many AM nights I can stand. A month in and my limit has been reached. Did I mention how much sleep means to me? Well, it's like a lot. I'm being more considerate of my technology, not only giving myself a break from it, but it from me. If I get a little funky from too many hours functioning, it's a wonder my computer doesn't either. Remember to respect your online lifeline. As corny as it may seem, unplugging yourself from time to time can be refreshing, allowing you to refocus or just make some adjustments. You never really appreciate how wonderful a good night's sleep can be until you go a couple weeks without one. Trust me, sleep is one thing I can't seem to get enough of at the moment. I've also noticed that you only realize how much something means to you until you're unable to do it whenever you like. My capacity to make videos recently has been reduced drastically, so much more than I thought at first. It kills me that I'm unable to put all the effort that I would love to and it feels like I'm not doing myself myself justice. justice or that I'm letting myself down in some way. For a while now, YouTube has become such an ingrained part of my identity. Even before becoming a creator myself, believe it or not, I like being a perfectionist. That admission scares me a bit. But in saying that, I hate not having the time to ensure that everything is the way I want it to be. So please bear with me as I attempt to figure out a new rhythm. It may take a while, but I'll get there. One of my favorite creators visited this month and I spent a lot of time imagining what I would say, what I would ask him. I spent a lot of time imagining what I would say, what I would ask him. I wasn't going into it with the mindset that this was something to check off a list. I really wanted to make a lasting impression. I'm not I'm not going to lie. I did have a few anxiety ridden moments in the days leading up to the meetup. I guess after everything, I still didn't want to embarrass myself. Despite doing exactly that on several occasions on the internet. And in real life. After meeting both Dodie and Evan, I do feel like I made a good impression. I loved being able to just talk. I shared one of my ideas that I'm currently working on and Dodie was very interested in seeing the final product. This makes me want to make it that much more seeing as this particular idea is a very personal one. Overall, panic attack aside, I had a great time, especially because I had so many friends there with me. Being a creator at these sort of gatherings, you are Uh, in a weird sort of limbo between both fan and creator, belonging to neither group, especially when you no longer view yourself as a fan, yet by being at this event, you appear just as that, a fan. What I loved was that I was able to interact with these two amazing people as more than just another fan, but as someone who understands the industry a little bit. I'm really glad I took the time and went. First assignments have been handed in, and here's hoping I did well. I I started my first placement while I've only had one day in the classroom. It's only made me more determined to be a great teacher to these amazing and adorable children. I know that there is a lot I need to learn. Still, everyone starts somewhere, right? Right? So overall, March has been a very busy month. So much that I could never have predicted how run down and tired I would feel by the end. So until next time, love always. Laura.